Hey everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends and I'm here with the iPhone 10. We're gonna take a quick look at how you navigate the new uh, iOS. Of course, there's no home button, so things are a little different in how you interact with the OS. So first of all, the control center, which everyone knows used to be a swipe up from the bottom, now is a swipe down from here. So let's take a look at that again. And you can do the same exact things as before, like increase and decrease the brightness and toggle all your other settings. So how do you get the notification book drawer? It's a swipe down from here. It doesn't necessarily have to be from the edge right here. You could actually just do it from the center as well. And of course, when you get here, it's the same as before. Uh, swipe to the left for the camera and here for the Today Center. So that's the notifications, that's the control center. So how do you switch between apps and how do you go to the home screen, for example? So say I'm gonna Google search something. Now, how do I get back to that home screen? There's this bar you see at the bottom here. Just swipe it up. So let's say again, let's go to Apple News. Swipe it up. And so switching between apps is kind of similar now. Um, what you have to do is press up and hold. And now you can see that there's this list of apps that you can jump through. But there's also a neat way to switch between apps. You can do that, which is kind of neat. And of course, pressing and holding lets you just quickly go to all of them. So again, let's take a quick refresh. That's the control center from the top right, notification drawer from here and the center. Nothing happens when you swipe up here, but of course, going into apps is this little animation right here and press and hold to go through all of them like that. So there's two more things that you might uh, not be sure of how to do. Uh, one is taking a screenshot, which you have to now press this longer power button and the volume up button, and you just have to do a light tap. And of course with iOS 11, it lets you customize those screenshots and save it to your photos. And the other thing is how do you turn off the phone? You press down the volume button and the power button at the same time. And there you go. And what happens when you press and hold the power button alone? It opens up Siri. And I have it set to type to Siri, but of course you can always activate the voice uh, Siri when you press and hold the power button.